Oh, well, buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool pop U.S. States video. In this video, we are learning about the state of Washington. Yeah, the state of Washington. And to begin, we're going to look at the flag of the state of Washington. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Now, who's in the middle of that flag? Who is that? Yeah, George Washington. The state of Washington was named after our very first president, George Washington. Now, you might have noticed just below George Washington is the year 1889. 1889 was an important year. It was the year that Washington became a state of the United States. This flag is the only state flag that features a president on it. It is also the only U.S. state flag that is mostly green. And we're going to talk about why it's mostly green in just a little bit. We're going to keep that a surprise for now. Now, we are going to clear up something that can be a little bit confusing. You see, there are two major places in the United States that are named after George Washington. There is, of course, the state of Washington, which this video is all about. It is in the furthest northwest corner of the continental United States. The other place named after George Washington is Washington, D.C., the capital of the entire United States. You can see that both Washingtons are on different coasts of the United States. The state of Washington is on the west coast. Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States, is on the east coast. Both are commonly just called Washington. So if somebody says, I'm going to go to Washington, make sure you know whether it's the state of Washington or Washington, D.C. Washington is one of the Pacific states because it borders the Pacific Ocean. The state of Washington belongs to a region of the United States called the Pacific Northwest. Pretty cool, huh? The state of Washington is in the northwest corner of the continental United States. All right, now we're going to tackle this question. Does Washington have any nicknames? We know it's one of the Pacific states, and it's in the Pacific Northwest region of the United States, and it was named after George Washington, but does it have any other names that it goes by? Well, the state of Washington has one main nickname, the Evergreen State. Yeah, a lot of people call Washington the Evergreen State. The reason for that is pretty simple. There are so many evergreen forests, so many evergreen trees and forests. As the name implies, evergreen trees stay green all year long. And Washington is a perfect place for these trees because it rains a ton in the evergreen state, which keeps things green and healthy. It's great for plants, great for plants. And this is the secret reason why the flag has so much green in it, because Washington is the evergreen state. Tons of evergreen trees, and it rains so much, which keeps the plants green and healthy and happy. I mean, not literally happy, they're plants, but you know what I mean, yeah. Because there are so many trees, lumber is one of the biggest industries that the state of Washington has. Washington is also the perfect place to produce apples. The state of Washington grows more apples than any other U.S. state. In fact, 64% of all apples produced in the United States comes from Washington. Okay, so Washington is called the Evergreen State. That's pretty cool. Now let's look at some neat places in Washington. 
All right, so here is the state of Washington again. We're going to look at some cool places. Okay, so right here is the city of Olympia. Olympia is the capital of Washington. A little further north is the city of Seattle. Seattle is the largest city in Washington. Then on the other end of the state to the east is the city of Spokane. Interestingly enough, Spokane is the birthplace of Father's Day, the holiday that celebrates fathers. Spokane is also the home to tons of homeschool pop fans, and we know that because a lot of you share where you live, and there are so many homeschool pop fans in Spokane, Washington. It's just like a haven of learning, okay? Tons of you are from Spokane, so thank you to all our viewers from everywhere. But wow, a lot of people in Spokane are learning with homeschool pop. But the city Washington is most well known for is the city of Seattle. As we said, it's the largest city in Washington. You've got to check this out. This is called the Space Needle. It's a massive observational tower. You can go up the tower with an elevator. Okay, by elevator, go up to the top of the Space Needle. And this is the symbol most people think of when they think of Seattle. And a lot of times when they think of Washington. All right, we have one more cool fact for you about Washington. What is the state bird of Washington? That's a wonderful question. The state bird of Washington is the American goldfinch. The American goldfinch. These cute small little birds like to migrate, and they especially love to migrate to areas that are residential where people are living. These small birds are bird feeder fanatics. They're like, oh, I made it to the buffet. This is like a restaurant just for me. Thanks for watching this homeschool pop video on the state of Washington, the evergreen stay. 